What's up guys, I got another 1x player video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dying Light. And it, it's a video probably a little bit overdue. Should have been did this, but uh, I guess I never got around to it. This is one of my favorite games and uh, so I wanted to dedicate a video just to get you running in 60 FPS and then you can manipulate settings from there just like any other video that I do. You don't have to follow it exactly. Okay. Now this is one of those really low volume games if you don't have Dolby Access. So definitely pick up Dolby Access uh, if you can or, or any kind of uh, amplification uh, type of uh, program so you can get the full potential of the speakers. Alright, so with this game, ever since the uh, latest update of this game itself, we get to this screen, it says press B to continue. We press B, no continue. So, how do we resolve this? We press the uh, home button there, and then we go back into the game. Don't ask me why, it solves the problem. Worth noting. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's go to video. I have this running in 1280 by 800 with full screen, V-Sync on. So V-Sync is a necessity for this game because when you're turning, if you have V-Sync off, you get horrible screen tearing and stuttering. I don't know why, but that's how they did it. Um, high quality, texture quality, uh, uh, everything else is low. So we got shadows low, foliage low, and uh, view distance low. Uh, I have motion blur on, but you could take that off if you want. It's a preference. It's not really going to affect uh, performance. And all the rest of this crap, I have off. Could probably put anti-aliasing on, but I actually like it better with it off. That's me personally. Because it has a softer look with it on, so I don't really like the, the soft look. Um, again, that's just me personally. And I have the uh, field of view all the way up, maxed out. Now, you don't have to do that, but I like uh, being able to see everywhere around the character when I'm playing this game. So let's continue and see where we were up to. I believe I was inside. I found Omar's body on the overpass. Raheem must have gotten away. I must have gotten away. So. I told them to hide in the train yard so there's a chance he's still alive. This is the only game I see my name come up in the game as a character. And I did not put them there. So I gotta find myself. I gotta find Raheem. Anyway, so in, in this mission that I'm at, uh, I believe I'm inside. So we'll we'll get a real test after I just complete the mission real quick and uh, get outside. Okay. So if you follow these settings, not only will you not need turbo mode, okay? But it'll be a smooth 60 FPS and you don't have to waste your battery putting turbo mode on. Now, I don't know how clear this video is going to come out. Because uh, there's a lot of, uh, oh, th it's kind of shiny on my phone. I'm looking at it and I'm seeing all this shine stuff. Okay, yeah, because the auto brightness. But um, trust me when I tell you, you're not going to have any issues playing this. And smooth 60 FPS without even the use of turbo mode. So, but I want to get outside. Maybe, maybe outside's a little different. You know how these games are. You go inside and, you know. Everything looks beautiful, you go outside, and who knows? You spitter. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? <laughs> they forced my hand. I was trying to be a good man. I was trying to pay my taxes. Okay. They forced me to do the dastardly thing. Let me see. Locked them in there. You locked them in there. There's a sewer entrance here in the terminal near the west wall. Use that tunnel. It'll take you straight to the hive. 
Oh, the sewer entrance. Alright, well, maybe this is an inside only uh, stage right now. I haven't played this in a long time, and I uh, actually did get very far in the original Dying Light, but then when they came out with the following, it just deleted all my saves, so I had to do this over again. And to be honest, there are certain things I didn't remember. So I'm hoping we can get outside real quick. Yeah, here we are. We're outside. Okay, I'm back on the surface. See that big ass covert over there, right? All right, as you guys can see, we're outside. There's grass, there's vegetation. Um, and we're not having any issues. That's because with these settings, you should be fine. Now, you can turn things up and down. Uh, again, this is not going to be the best setting for everybody. We do have some flickering shadow action going on up there on the, on the building. Uh, you want to avoid all that, then uh, you can just turn the shadow quality a little bit higher or, and whatnot. Uh, but this is how we look outside. We're pretty good. Okay. Good morning. And uh, we should be good to go. As you, as you guys see, you're not going to have any issues with this. And you don't need turbo mode. 20 watt TDP is good enough. Don't get up. All right. All right, guys, so as you can see, no issues. Um, could probably turn the resolution up higher than 1200 by, uh, I'm sorry, 1280 by 800. But that's just a base thing I wanted to show you guys to get you started. Um, but the res it looks real fine to me, a viral. <laughs> yeah, we don't like virals, okay? Anyway, yeah, what I'll do, what I'll do is I'm gonna come outside and mess with some things and see if we ever get any frame drops. Cause uh, if I change the resolution, can I change the resolution during game? Hmm. Nope. They want you to go all the way to the beginning. All right, well, we can change some other things. 1280 by 800, a lot of games run at max settings, so. <clears throat> let's turn the, uh, let's turn the uh, foliage quality up and the shadow quality up. See if that makes a difference in our FPS. Outside is a good benchmark. And nope, looks like we're good. No issues with the grass and all of that. No frame drops. Oh, quest failed. Yeah, I think uh, I think there was a time limit. I was supposed to do that in a time limit. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm looking at a time limit there. I didn't even notice. All right, so let's change something. Let's turn some other things up. Yeah, I optimized this a little while ago, and I, I think I just optimized it the same way I had the uh, the One GX Pro. So I guess I may have under. Um, optimize this and turn everything on everything on and just leave it at 1280 by 800 and see if that makes a difference so we're still at 1280 by 800 everything's turned on this time so let's go outside including film grain which is completely useless um let's get outside and uh, see if there's any drops in frames and remember we're still not in turbo mode so and right now everything's maxed out except that uh nvidia stuff i don't know if they'll let me mess with that but we'll test that when we get outside too let's 
Get outside, see if we drop in any frames. Nope, no frames dropping. We got grass all over the place. Looks like it's just fine. Everything's looking good. So let's turn up, uh, let's try those NVIDIA settings if they let us. Oh yeah, I have, okay, I have them all on. Okay, NVIDIA, yeah. So okay, so everything runs at max settings, except view distance, I don't know about that. See, that's that's when you're dabbling into uh, uncharted territory, when you're trying to see stuff that's uh, rendering all the way across the earth unnecessarily. But let's see. Yeah, yeah, so when we put view distance all the way up, that's, that's, that's when we start dropping a frame or two, but for the most part, it's good. Could be just this area, though. It looks like it's fine. So, like I said, you, you guys can mess around with it, but uh, you're really not going to have an issue playing this at, at 20 watt TDP, which is the default TDP. Uh, let's see if we get to some action, if, if there any changes. Where are the zombies? Are they still dead from the last time? I guess. Okay, yeah, we got some frame drops over here. Okay, all right, so this is where, where it changes. But, like I said, guys, you guys can uh, put it either way you like. <clears throat> we do drop in frames, we are dropping frames over here. So let's, uh, let's, turn, let's turn that back to where it was. So, but like I said, I think it might be, um, I think it might be foliage actually, because uh, foliage also has to do with uh, the blood on the ground. So let's put foliage on low, and see if that makes a difference. Because it started glitching over here in this area. When it's blood, yeah, so it's drop, it drops over here. So, as you guys saw, I was over here, everything was fine, so it's gotta be something that we turned up. In any case, it, in any case, if you follow my default settings, you can turn other things up and uh, figure out from there uh, what you're gonna want turned up and what turned down. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.